Howdy partners, it's your buddy John here, and welcome back to In the Kitchen. Sorry, I've been slacking. It's been about two months since the last episode here in the new season. But anyway, we're back. Uh, today I'm going to be preparing something called j jollof rice. J jollof rice? This word right here. It's uh, a dish that is pretty common in most West African nations, but this particular version of the recipe, or the dish, comes from Ghana. So that might be interesting. Uh, kind of mixing up uh, the different countries and stuff we have in this season, so hopefully you guys enjoy. This dish is actually pretty surprisingly easy to make. There's not really a whole lot of ingredients that go into it. Uh, so what you're going to need is one and a quarter cups of white rice, one pound of boneless chicken, better move that knife before you hurt yourself, one pound of boneless chicken breast, two cups of chicken broth, one medium onion, two teaspoons of vegetable oil, and six ounces of tomato paste. So really not a whole lot that goes into it. Some versions of the recipe I was finding were actually calling for chicken soup instead of chicken broth. So I don't know which one to actually use. So I just went with the chicken broth for this. Right, first up, let's go ahead and chop up the onion here. I'm probably gonna wanna I'm not sure exactly how thick you're going to want the onion. I, I kind of didn't go really fine, but I, I chopped it up, I think, pretty decently here. Uh, it's going to cook down when you throw it into the pot anyway. All right, go ahead and just put the two teaspoons of uh, vegetable oil into the pan here. We're going to try to get a decent coverage in there because uh, basically everything is going to be going in here. The rice, the vegetables, the chicken. Um, you're not actually going to boil the rice, which I, I thought was kind of interesting. I, I think I've made dishes like this before, but I, I, I'm not sure. So this might be interesting to see how this turns out. All right, so go ahead and add the onions. We're going to let them cook down just a little bit. Right, time to add in the rice. Let's just go ahead and dump this in here. I went ahead and, uh, you, you don't boil the rice, but you just throw the rice in there, dry with the onions, let it cook for a little bit. I think that when you throw in the stuff later, it'll help cook the rice down a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and start chopping up the chicken here. This is actually going pretty fast. So you're going to want to actually kind of cube the chicken. You don't want, like, big strips of it. You want, you want little... Not really little chunks, but you know, decent sized uh, cubes of it. Alright, let's go ahead and add the chicken in. Don't forget to stir the rice occasionally, otherwise it'll start to burn. I, I just noticed that it was actually kind of burning a little bit there. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, we're going to go ahead, put that in. We're going to start mixing this up a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and throw in the tomato paste here. Uh, the tomato paste and the chicken broth are actually going to help to cook the stuff um, rather than just letting it sit over heat, dry. So add in the uh, tomato paste, add in the chicken broth, and then we're going to cover this up for about, I'd say, 25 minutes. I think I ended up going a little longer just to be sure that the chicken was cooked. Uh, but let's go ahead and make sure everything's mixed in there okay before we actually cover up the pot. I probably should have gone for a bigger pot now that I'm looking at this. Because I think I think this pot was really overcrowded. Alright, go ahead and cover it up. Let this sit for 25 minutes. After a while, uh, the rice should absorb all the liquid ingredients. So it should come up looking something like this. Uh, again, you want to make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through. So, uh, you, you, you know, ch chicken can be a bit of an issue if it's not cooked. But that looks like it cooked right. Anyway, it's pretty fast, pretty simple, pretty easy to make, I think. It kind of reminds me of uh, some dishes from Louisiana, like jambalaya. Um, I don't know if this is where it got its origins from. But anyway, partners, thanks for watching. Uh, I think I have a few more ideas in mind here for the next few months. Uh, I have the next four months planned out for sure. But if you guys have a certain recipe from uh, any country you'd like me to check out, let me know down below. Uh, it'll probably be by January by the time I'll start needing new recipes. But I, I think I have everything else set and ready. But anyway, partners, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. I much appreciate it. It really helps me out. I will see y'all next time. Bye!